In this tutorial, we look into how to combine two sets of results in SQL. There are three ways to do this. The first one is similar to an AND operation, whereby only rows that are common in both sets are selected. The second one is similar to an OR operation, where all rows that appear in either set are selected. The third one is taking only the rows in set 1 that do not appear in set 2. Each of the three ways has corresponding commands in SQL. The first is achieved via the intersect command. The second is achieved via the union or union all command. The third is achieved via the minus or accept command. The difference between union and union all is that union only shows distinct values, and union all shows all rows. So if a value appears four times in set one and set two combined, the union command will return that value once, while the union all command will return that value four times. The minus and accept commands are the same. Some databases use minus, while other databases use accept. Let's take a look at an example and see how they're different. Assuming set 1 has four rows, Zhang, Larry, Mary, and Sophie, and set 2 has three rows, Zhang, Angela, and Linda. When we use the intersect command, the result is Zhang. When we use the union command, the result is Zhang, Larry, Mary, Sophie, Angela, and Linda. When we use the union all command, the result is Zhang, Larry, Mary, Sophie, Zhang, Angela, and Linda. When we use the minus or accept command, the result is Larry, Mary, and Sophie. 